In this program, we are going to print Fibonacci series using recursive functions. We have already seen what Fibonacci series is. So in Fibonacci series, there are two initial numbers, 0 and 1. Then we add these two to get next number. And these first numbers are initially named as previous and current. And then in the first iteration, when we add these two numbers, the new number that we get becomes the current number and previous current number becomes previous. So this is first iteration. Similarly, in the second iteration, again, previous and current will be added, which is 1 and 1. So we get 2 then 2 becomes your current number and previous current becomes previous so these iterations will continue till users expected level is reached suppose user wants to print fibonacci series till level 5 then this would be your first level this will be second third fourth and fifth so skipping these first two numbers will require three iterations in order to print fibonacci series up to five levels so in the program i have initialized pre is equal to 0 and current is equal to 1 and i have also declared one variable as n so that will be user's input and then because we already know that first two numbers are always 0 and 1 so i'm directly printing it and after that i'm calling my function to which i'm passing current value of previous and current and n which is 5 in this case so in the first call 0 1 and 5 will be sent to our function fibo we know theoretically that when this function calls itself it is called as recursive function but we need to specify a condition where this recursion will stop otherwise the compiler will go into infinite execution so logic should be to add previous and current and call decremented iteration number so as we have started from 5 we need to call the same function by passing value 4 then 3 then 2 so at some point of time we need to stop so we know that the second and first are known numbers so second and one are known numbers which is 0 and 1 so we need to stop the program when iteration number reaches 2 so in the program int x is the iteration number so I have written a condition as if x is equal to equal to 2 get ch and exit so once x is equal to 2 then program will be terminated if this condition is not true the regular operation will be executed in which we are storing current value into temp adding these two numbers storing addition into current and then storing temp which is holding value of current so that value will be stored into previous so here what we are doing we are doing addition and we are changing values of previous and current so once that is done we are just going to print current value and then new previous and current value we are passing along with the next iteration number so initially when we have passed 0 1 and 5 so in this case 1 1 and 4 will be called similarly in the next iteration 1 2 and 3 will be called and in the final iteration when the call is made 2 3 and 2 will be called but because of this 2 this condition will get satisfied and program will terminate so here we have already printed initial values of previous and current so 0 and 1 will be printed directly and once this call is made 0 1 and 5 are passed to FIBO function so initially this statement will be false so addition will be performed values will be swapped and new value which is 1 will be printed the same process will continue and in the next function call 2 will be printed in the next function call 3 will be printed and in the same call 2 will be passed which will make this condition true and that will terminate your program understanding program programs which involves recursive functions are tricky so once you start getting an idea how execution takes place in case of recursive those are very easy but most important thing when you are using recursive function is that there has to be one condition somewhere which will disrupt the recursive calls also recursive functions are pretty heavy operations because every time recursive function is called a separate copy of variable is created so in this program three iterations are made and we are using three variables in each function on total calls total nine variables are used apart from initial variables declared over here so that is why using recursive becomes very expensive operation if we are using call by value method 